Hi, this is Dom from MyRes. In this video, I'm going to cover creating conversations, requirements, and user stories. Now, the iRise platform does a lot of things, but at its core, iRise is about engaging stakeholders. You want to work with them as you're defining and designing your solution. You show them what you intend to build, what you think the right solution is, and they give you feedback along the way. And that feedback not only validates the overall idea, but it also validates those really important micro interactions that are what make up the app. So one part of the engagement is the interactive diagrams and prototypes that you'll build. But just as important is capturing that feedback from the reviewer through threaded conversations, user stories, and requirements. And that's what we're gonna cover in this video. Now, iRise is the only tool that provides real-time collaboration. You can have multiple users annotating the same screens at the same time and seeing each other's changes and conversations in real time as they happen. So let's see this process in action. So we'll go ahead and hit the play button and simulate our prototype. And you'll see a set of icons in the upper left hand corner. The first icon is going to show you the project directory. The second will open the requirements window and the third will open the comments and conversations window. So first let's add a comment. These conversations can obviously be used in many different ways. They might be used to point out areas of interest that you want the stakeholder to focus on. Or as a stakeholder has questions along the way as they're reviewing the prototype, they can use the comments to ask questions and then pin that comment and question to a widget on the page. So here they might want to know if there should be a keep me logged in checkbox on this dialogue here. So they could ask that question and then pin it directly to this widget so that everyone knows exactly what they're referring to. And you can also set up your own color coding system, which the user can set here. Then once we're done, we'll click the add button and our comment is live. And if we want to edit the comment later, you just mouse over the top right hand corner here and you'll see that we can edit its various properties. And once that comment is live, now anyone, including yourself, can reply to it. And it turns from a comment to a conversation. So that's a quick look at comments. Now let's move to requirements and user stories. So let's say that we established that we do want to add that checkbox to the dialogue. So we'll start to add that requirement here. And just as you can with comments, you can also tie each requirement directly to a widget on the screen. You can also add comments directly to each requirement here by clicking this icon. But beyond that, you have the ability to capture, track, and report on the details of each requirement. You'll find those details by clicking this info icon at the bottom of the requirement. Now these are completely customizable by you on a project by project basis or at the server level. So let's look at an example. We see here that we're tracking the progress, the type of requirement, which here is a user story. You can assign owners. You can also add attachments, which is very useful. Here's a whole set of project specific details for tracking. Now, this project has an agile framework, but you can customize that to fit your process. You're able to create links to other assets in iRise or a simple web link. So you might want to link to an outside example on the web. Or here you could link to a different requirement within iRise if you wanted to set up a dependency. You also might want to link to a specific screen in the prototype or maybe a part of an interactive diagram. Regardless, it's a very useful feature I think you'll use a lot. I talked about controlling the requirement details on a project level. Well, project templates are actually a really good way to do this. Here I'm going to select a waterfall template. And you'll see that these details now are very different from the Agile example that we looked at earlier. One last quick note, on the Definition Center project page, on the lower left hand corner, you'll find the email notification settings. This is where you can choose to get an email in your inbox if someone adds or replies to a comment. And you can also select whether you'd like to receive a daily digest of project activities. So that's a quick overview of how to create comments and requirements. In another video, we'll cover how you can create custom reports that include all the assets that we showed here today. And also be sure to check out the related video on integrating iRise with other ALM tools. This provides real-time syncing of requirements and user stories in iRise with products like Jira, Rally, and all the other big names. This allows your team to combine the benefits of collaborative prototyping 
with the robust tools you already use. So I think you can see how the tools we showed in this video can help ensure that your team is truly being collaborative in the way that they work. So as always, I hope this was helpful. I thank you for watching and take care.